Animal Trades, and this is my friend Josh. Today we are carving a super simple hat rack. Let's do it. Josh is well known for being very good at carving and also being very resourceful. And I happen to have this stack of wood here. And so we are going to pick through it to find something to make our hat rack. We have a beautiful accoutrement of poplar, sassafras, oak. I'm thinking we need something a little bit, maybe six inches at least wide. We'll yep. split out the board that it goes on. And then we can pick really anything from this pile. And we'll make the dowels that will drill uh, a hole for in an angle and that'll be our hat rack. Super simple. Just a board and some pegs and you can do that really with just an axe and a knife. Alright, so I'm going to use this piece of poplar. I'm going to use a fro. You can also use an axe or a splitting wedge or all kinds of other things. I'm going to use my brand new mallet. Oh yes, this is great. Teamwork yeah. makes the dream work. hi -ya! Oh my gosh. Also, so do sound effects. <laughs> hi -ya! Just use some leverage here. Do we have any? Do we have any? Ooh, look at that it's green. Okay. And what we're doing right now is called riving, which is a very fancy word for splitting the wood. The advantage that it provides is that it splits along the grain of the wood. So anything that you split out is getting the maximum grain strength from the wood. Poplar is a really light wood, so we want a contrasting wood to make the pegs. I happen to have a little piece of walnut firewood here as well. Yes, Tennessee, we do burn walnut. I'm going to split off little sections of this so that I can carve them down and make the pegs. Ooh, we're gonna get some sapwood in there. Ooh, this is gonna look nice. What's cool about Tennessee's black walnut, and you don't ever see it unless oh. you've cut like a green walnut tree, meaning it's been fresh cut, but right when it's cut, you see all these colors, blues, greens, yellows, purple, and then it will, as it's exposed to the air, it oxidizes and uh, kind of takes on a, a dark brown, purplish color. And I wear a lot of hats, dun, 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 so we're gonna need a lot of things. <laughs> Hi, babies. You guys gonna come help? Is that what are you doing? So many hooks for so many hats. Because I wear so many hats. I'm gonna need you to be more impressed with my dad jokes. Oh, 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 oh my gosh! Hats! All right. Uh, that should be plenty. Oh, Sorry, do what? A lot of hats. Oh, I get it. Okay, we go. Actually, so we many hats. Hi. Hi, buddy. What do you think? I've known Josh and his wife Deb for six years now, because he's past six, right? Yeah, my son is almost six. Yes, and we met actually because Josh was doing a spoon carving project called 365 Spoons, where he carved a spoon every day for 365 days. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Definitely a zero, zero, zero out of ten recommend. Um, but Josh and I started talking about spoon carving, and then it resulted in me coming out to visit he and his wife and a lifelong friendship was formed and actually 
their presence here is a big part of why we wanted to move to Tennessee because we had some ready-made community here. Yeah. The other day we were all having dinner and we were talking about just the move and and plans with our building over there and how we were getting settled in and everything and I was lamenting that with so many rapid decisions and so many things taking my time and my attention um, I was having a really hard time making time to be creative which is basically how I get all my energy. We started talking we just decided we needed to get together and make something together. Yeah. Something quick that we could actually finish in one sitting and this is what we're doing now. Talk to me a little bit about when you get blocked creatively or when you what do you do? Well I think even the why I started that project was I wanted some way that I could practice my skill every single day but it didn't take a ton of time. Those little those little projects help to restart even like why you, were do, why you started woodworking in the first place or why um, give us like a little win, like a quick win that can right. um, reignite the creative fire. So now we're doing legitimate playing for the sake of playing. He's decorating the front and this is gonna look super cool when the light hits it. And I'm fitting the pegs for the holes that we're gonna drill but then also decorating the front ends too so that they're not just square pegs. I drilled this hole in this scrap piece so that I could test the fit, carve things down to match it. So because all of this wood is wet when we're assembling it, it's all going to shrink. It's all gonna get smaller. So if we fit these into the holes in that board and then they shrink, then they're eventually going to fall out. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut slots in them and use wedges to attach them from the back of the board. And that's going to A, secure them now, but also keep them from falling out later. So we're now ready to install these. We wanna make sure that we've got the wedge portion perpendicular to the grain because if it goes like this, this is the weakest point of the grain, and if we wedge it, it could split this. So we go perpendicular to the grain there, we stick it on in, perpendicular, go in, and now we'll give them a tap, 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 a root. Now we'll just confirm that they are all still perpendicular before we wedge them. There we go, we ready. We're going to use a metal hammer for this because it's going to help the wood to change sound so we'll know when it's actually fully seated. Hear how that changes the sound? Convenient, that negates the use of a saw. have a place to hang my hat. You know it's funny because I just moved here and now this is where I'm gonna hang my hats. <laughs> Look at that. Cool. Finally have a place to hang my hat. Find something to make our hat rack. With which? We're gonna find something by with which. With shell. By the shell. <laughs> place to hang our hats. A place to hang our hats. Okay. True. What else even is there? Cause in the end, doesn't even matter. <laughs> Who so is that? Country Lincoln Park. <laughs> yeah, it is. Hi, I'm Animal Trades. This is my friend Josh, and I am good night. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Hi, I'm Animal Trades, and this is my friend Josh Knapp. <clears throat> because I have so many hats. Working. I was working in my laundry. That's not. <laughs> the archives. In the archives of the wow. angel. <laughs> Here's me using a few hundred more tools. <laughs> Look what I made all by myself. Here yeah. We go.